If you want to transfer data from your old phone to Xiaomi 15T or 15T Pro, then in that case we can use an app that is called the MI Mover. Now on our Xiaomi 15T and 15T Pro, we have it pre-installed. It is also available on many Xiaomi, Poco and, uh, and Redmi um, smartphones. And in this case, you don't have to really do much. You just have to open the app on your old phone in order to just start transferring files. Whereas on any other Android or on iOS, you will need to download the app from the Play Store. So of course you can just open the Play Store on your previous phone then over here we can search for the MI Mover. Let me show you how it looks like. There we go. And this is the app that we are looking for, made by Xiaomi, of course. So once you have the app, you want to open it on your previous phone. And in this case, we want to select that this is, of course, our new device on our Xiaomi 15T and T Pro. Now we can choose what is our old device. So in my case, it is any other Android. Over here, as you can see, we have Xiaomi and Redmi, and this also includes Poco. So in this case, we're going to select Android. We need to grant permissions for the app. And there we go. Now we have the QR code that we use in order to install the MI Mover. But since we did it um, beforehand, then we can just tap installed. And now we are creating this hotspot that is used, that will be used by our old phone to connect to our new phone and to transfer files. So in this case, we need to select that this is our old phone. And now we are trying to detect the Xiaomi 15T and T Pro on this old phone. In my case, I actually managed to find it and we can try to connect. But in case you have issues with connecting, uh, what you can also do is you can connect to the new device manually. So we can tap over here, connect to the new device manually at the bottom of our phone. And then in here, we're gonna just select the name of the hotspot and uh, we can tap on connect to the new device manually on our new phone as well. And there we go. Now we have the password. I actually need to go back because the name just changed. There we go. And we need to enter the password over here. All right, so once we enter this password and connect to the hotspot, we can just go back. And there we go. We are, we are connected now. We can also choose what we want to transfer. So in this case, uh, I will exclude third-party apps because I don't really need to transfer them. And I'm just going to use images. In your case, you probably you probably want to um, select everything if you try to move everything. And let's go next. Over here, we need to select these two points and choose send. And there we go. We are now transferring files. Of course, the time that is required to transfer the data depends on the amount of data. Uh, so the more data you have, obviously, more time it will take to transfer everything. But once it is done, as you can see, we can tap on done on our old phone and also done on our new phone. And everything that you selected to transfer should be transferred at this point. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.